I don't need to say this, but backups are your friend. But backups can be your mega enemy too. Let me explain. We all like to keep backups. Maybe your host does it. Maybe you're using a plugin and you're storing backups locally on your machine or even within your WordPress files and databases. But you may be storing it on your cloud as well. But if you're not careful, you're suddenly going to start rinsing out your backend WordPress files and databases if you don't clear out old backups. Rinsing out files and databases, that doesn't really make sense, does it? But we'll leave it in for dramatical effect. Let me now show you what I mean by rinsing out your database. As an example, I'm using the all-in-one WP migration that you can get for free. There is a pro version, but I like to use the free version on lots of client websites. So I've gone and made a backup and what you'll have here is a backup stored within my back end WordPress database. My host already does backups and you'll have separate cloud one as well. But it's not always a bad idea to kind of store it on your database as well, especially if you want to get hold of it. Or maybe you're testing out different plugins or solutions on your website and you want to very quickly be able to roll back. So at the moment, this has gone and created a, a WordPress backup file of about 260 megabytes. Now, while I'm in WordPress, if I go over to tools and I go to site help, and then I click on info and then I go to directories and sizes. Yeah, you're going to see like a slightly bigger size over there, but that's because it's including a little bit more. But at the moment, my entire WordPress installation, everything is coming at 429 megabytes, but I've also got this 260 megabyte backup as well. Now, here's the problem. If you keep taking daily or weekly backups, that will mount up. And I'm now going to tell you a story about why you really want to keep on top of this. I was recently talking or working with someone where their website was really slow to open and edit. And they were using Elementor and everyone kind of goes, oh, it's all Elementor. It was nothing to do with Elementor. It was not an e-commerce website. There were not that many third party plugins on there. There was nothing to really explain. Why is this website so slow to do anything? When I went in to their website just to have a look and we went to this place, right? Like I said, tools, site health, info, directories and sizes. How big did you think the total installation size was? 82 gigabytes. Let me just say that again. 82 gigabytes. And then I was like, what the heck is going on here? Like, have you been loading mega huge images? Media library? No, the images were all WebP. What was going on here? And then I went and looked at their backups. And by the way, they weren't using all in one. They had another solution. But when I went in to look at it, this is what I found, okay? So at the moment, we've only got one, okay? But you, what you've got to imagine is September 2023, okay? So just under a year ago, the very first backup they made was about 400 odd. No, it was about 500 something, 500 and something megabytes. That's still quite big, you know, but it's for a standard website that's not got WooCommerce on, but 500 megabytes we're going to let it go. It's a, it's a good enough size. We let it go. OK, I don't know why I'm saying let it go. It's not like I built the website or anything. That's what they had. And they were working with other people every week or every few days or whatever. There was another backup made. And what happens is the backup is now the existing website and the backup. And then the next one after that is the existing website and the two backups. And then after that, it just keeps mounting up. And you could see over time, each backup just grew, 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 grew to 82 gigabytes. So if you're storing daily, weekly backups, it doesn't matter if it's on your cloud or your host or wherever. You're going to make sure that you're maybe limiting it to maybe your latest five, maybe, or your latest three. I mean, on a lot of the host providers, they only go to a certain point. I store our main websites onto my OneDrive, but it only keeps the latest three days. It's done daily, but I don't need anything beyond day three because I'm checking my websites daily anyway. So up to day three is OK. But if you are storing regular backups, whether it's Updraft or all in one or whatever solution you're using, I strongly recommend that you do a little bit of cleaning up, because if you don't, the moment your website starts to chug and slow down. And you know what? That particular person did say they had had emails from their hosts saying they were hitting their storage limit, but they couldn't quite work out how or why. 
because the website didn't have that amount of stuff on it. Actually, it did. It was your backend files and databases and your mother load of backups. Hey, backups are your friend, but they can also be your big goddamn enemy to sort them out. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Go and check out our $1 business packs. Link is in the video description. I'll see you soon.